Breaking news coming in from Bearville today, where our Bear family of three came home from a walk at 5 a.m. this morning to find a girl asleep in their house. Our reporter is right there. Johnny, what can you tell us? I'm here on the outskirts of Bearville, where a baby bear has run into a treehouse and refuses to come out. I spoke briefly to his mother just now, who said that he's traumatized after finding a girl in his bed. Baby Bear, can you tell us a bit about what happened? No. Would it help if I gave you some honey? Yes. So, Baby Bear, what did you see when you and your family got home from your family walk? She'd eaten my porridge and broken my favorite chair. Then I went upstairs to my room and found her in my bed. What did you do? I screamed and she ran away. Then I ran away to this tree house and I'm staying here until she's caught. Your neighbor saw the girl running away and recognized her as a local troublemaker called Goldilocks. Do you know her? No, and I don't want to know her. Thank you, baby bear. Now I'm going to talk to Zoe the dog who was resting on the porch when it happened. Zoe, what did you see? Well, I was minding my own business when I saw her. She was looking through the window and she said, Yum, I like the look of that porridge. Then she walked in through the front door, bold as brass. She's trouble, that one. I know it will be recorded on the family CCTV security footage, so that's something at least. Thank you, Zoe. Back to you in the studio, Oscar. Thank you. We'll bring you more on that story as we get it. Thank you.